Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and today I'm gonna to be showing you a week in my life trying to be the most Finnish I can be. Basically, the inspiration for this video, um, over winter break, I read this book called The Joy Luck Club. It's an amazing book. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a new book to read. The book talks about Chinese culture and how Chinese Americans are able to incorporate a lot of different traditional Chinese practices into their life, whether that includes the food that they make or the games that they play or the way they spend time together. And after I read that book, I was really inspired to try to like figure out what's my culture. So. That brings me to this video. I am 25% Finnish. And so with that, I really wanted to learn more about Finnish culture, Finland in general. I started this project, I did not know anything about Finland, probably couldn't even point it out on a map. As I started doing research on Finnish people, Finnish culture, etc., the first thing that showed up was how Finnish people have been ranked the happiest people on the planet for the past four consecutive years. To that, I was like, what? Mainly, like, my question was how? So I started researching Finnish wellness, kind of started to do a lot of research on like how Finnish people define happiness, why their happiness is ranked so high. And I was looking into what are tangible ways that I can incorporate Finnish wellness into my life. If I'm able to use these practices, will it make me happier? Will I be more Finnish in doing that? And as someone who's grown up with primarily really only American culture, how can I start to incorporate Finnish wellness and Finnish lifestyle choices into my life? Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video and let's go ahead and get started with day one. Good morning. Today is the first day that we're doing ice swimming in the morning. My friend and roommate Camila is going to go with me to do this. I'm very grateful. So what we're gonna do is like go there right now, try it and see how it goes. So wish us luck. Okay, Camila, how are you feeling about this? I'm feeling regret that I agreed to do this. But it'll be fun. All right, so Camille and I are on our way <laughs> to our old apartment. It's about 7 a.m. now. We're gonna do it. All right, see you there. All right, so Camille and I just finished um, jumping in the ice water. Yeah. It was cr actually crazy. Well, we did it day one done, and see you all later. Bye. So a lot of the research I was kind of doing as I was starting to create this project and think about how I want to relate it to my lifestyle here in Davis was what are tangible ways that I can incorporate Finnish wellness practices into my life. In the book that I read about Finnish lifestyle, a lot of the practices that the author talked about was a lot of the stuff that I honestly do in Davis. And the author was able to kind of list a lot of different Finnish wellness practices to incorporate into your lifestyle. So that's kind of what I plan to do with this project. Some of them included like cycling to work and home, which honestly in Davis, it's really easy to do because everybody bikes here. A lot of it was spending time outdoors and really kind of like embracing nature too. I am really grateful I have a job with the Arboretum and Public Garden. So part of my job is being able to go out and work in nature. I feel like lucky that I'm able to kind of incorporate being in nature a lot into my lifestyle. Basically what I want to iterate mostly about this project is there are a lot of simple ways to improve your lifestyle even if it's hard for you to bike to and from work and home just being intentional about like okay it's my lunch break i'm gonna go eat lunch outside or i'm going to go read a book i have time to read a book instead of doing that at your desk or in your living room you can go outside um or do something like that i hope that with this video you're able to kind of understand that it's easy to change your lifestyle with very simple lifestyle choices 
being able to reflect on Finnish culture and practices that they incorporate into their lifestyle, seeing how you can bring that into your life and how it might be able to change your life is really inspirational. And I hope that you're able to take ideas from this video and practice them in real life. Good morning, everybody. It's 6.30 a.m. again. I really enjoy waking up this early, but I am having a hard time with it. I'm still trying to figure out if Camila is awake. That is day two, and I'll see you guys at the pool. We need to have resilience in our daily life. Is that what it's teaching us? Sisu, yeah, it's, Sisu is like the finished practice of resilience. of resilience, even in times of hardship. <laughs> okay, go, 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 It's not even... Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, day two, Camila. Okay, day two done. This time, as you can probably see from the video, we decided not to jump in because looking at pictures and stuff of Finnish people who go in the ice water, they don't jump in. I think it's more like they just kind of step in, try to sustain themselves in there for a little bit. So that's what we decided to do. Today was a lot better. That was it for day two, so we'll see you all next time. Okay. I decided to make a blueberry pie. This is a traditional Finnish dessert. I was never really a pie person growing up, but I recently had a blackberry pie for the first time and it changed my life, honestly. So I'm making a blueberry pie. For me to practice making traditional Finnish food, this is what I chose. Plus I'm not that good at cooking, so this seemed easy for me. Anyways, let's check that out. Yeah. Okay, so after that coffee, I went to the salad bowl garden on campus. It's basically a student run garden where you can go and freely pick fruits and vegetables. In Finland, they have a law called the Everyman's Right where anybody is allowed to like roam, camp, walk around nature freely without fear of consequences or trespassing. And you can also pick berries and mushrooms that have grown freely in the wild. So it was a little bit similar, but I wanted to go check it out as kind of an homage to that law in Finland. crazy swim adventures. We're getting some pizza and I just wanted to show you all, check it out. The Finnish flag. What's up? If you can believe it, the hot tub is actually open and working. We did it, we did it. It's the last day of doing the ice swimming. I have to say it was fine.
Hey everybody. Okay, so I am talking to you from my hammock. Last year I used to live in North Davis and I would hammock here all the time. So this area is like very nostalgic for me, especially too, last year I would go on a walk in this area like probably every day and I would see all of these cats. Like they would run, I'm not joking. They would run up to me sometimes. And like, of course I have to hang out with the cat for like at least 10 minutes. So then I hang out with the cat. I'm going to kind of explain like why I did some of the things that I did in this video. Firstly, I jumped into the pool every morning. I didn't show every morning because it's probably a little bit repetitive, but I did go every morning. So Finnish people, this is actually a big practice that they do. They will go in the morning, they'll go in the evening, they'll go during their lunch break at work and they'll just jump into a lake. So that's what Camila and I did every morning. And it was definitely a good way to start our morning just because it was a, literally a shock to the system. I actually read a statistic where jumping into really cold water is this, it's like the equivalent of what walking up stairs for 15 minutes will do to your body. I always dreaded going, but after I did it, it felt really nice to have done that. It was cool. Next up, I drank coffee. I typically drink coffee like every day, but I drank an Americano. Uh, I did not love it, but as I kind of showed, Finnish people are, I think they're number one in the world for like drinking the most cup of, cups of coffee a day. So again, that's eight or nine cups a day. I only drank one Americano that day. And if I do drink coffee, it's normally a mocha. Um, beyond that, I also made a blueberry pie. That's a traditional Finnish dessert. And I also spent a lot of time outdoors. Finland is a relatively new country. It's only really been around for, or it's, it's only been its own independent country for about a hundred years. So they don't have a lot of like traditions that have been passed down through generations and generations. With that, there's not a lot of old traditions that I could really fall back on when doing this project. It was a lot of like, what do Finnish people do now that I can incorporate into my life? as an American college student. The most important thing is spending time outdoors. And if I did not make it clear earlier, I want to now that spending time outdoors can make a huge difference on how happy you are. So next time you hang out with your friends, maybe just go on a walk in a park. Maybe you guys buy hammocks, go uh, go hammock together. My grandpa, his name is Wayne Arniokoski. He and my grandma were able to go to Finland and visit for a while. And it was cool for me to be able to interview them and ask them like what their experience was like, what a typical day in the life looks like for a Finnish person. Um, so here are some pictures I wanted to show. There are actually 3 million saunas in Finland and a population of 5 million people. So you can imagine there's a lot of saunas. My Arniokoski family actually has their own sauna at their house. So here's some pictures. The coffee shop that's as popular in Finland as Starbucks is called Wayne's Coffee. And again, my grandpa's name is Wayne. So here's a picture of that. And um, my family name is Arniokoski, which actually means running water in big trees in the Finnish translation. We actually uh, have our own street named Arniokoski in Finland. So here's a picture of that. And yeah, I just wanna say thank you to my, both my grandparents for uh, letting me interview them and ask about Finland. Being able to call him and talk with him and my grandma about Finland gave me a really cool perspective on what it's like to live there, what it would even be like for me to go visit. But for now, as a 20 year old in California studying at UC Davis, this is how I was able to incorporate Finnish lifestyle into my life and how I was able to kind of like really focus on my well being during this week. And again, I just want to thank you all for watching the video and I will see you all some other time, some other place. Thanks so much again. Have a good one. Bye.